Uh, well, I'm recording this because uh, I'm traveling and now at the Sao Paulo airport. The Stop TV dialogues start in another seven hours time to be precise, eight hours time. And I don't know if I'm going to be able to reach the hotel in Salvador by that time. Hence, I'm sending this recorded message for all of you to kick off the Stop TV Dialogues. Thank you, Shobha. Thank you, Bobby. Thank you, Tanzir Bhai. Thank you, Maliha, Appa, Shaila Appa, Dr. Pranab, for all the wonderful work that you do towards TB elimination in Bangladesh. I have been labeled I don't know whether appropriately or not, as being a thought leader. And therefore, I just want to share my thoughts on life and linking it to TV in particular. I remember many a year back, I was exposed to the Seven Habits of Stephen Covey. And the one thing that stuck me was the sentence in which, one sentence in which Covey differentiates between the animal kingdom and us, the human beings. And he says, the only thing that differentiates us, the human beings, from the animal kingdom is our ability to choose. No wonder life is termed as being a product, an outcome of all the choices we make. In the 32 years of IBD business that I have been in, it has been my experience and understanding that every choice that we've made, consciously, unconsciously, judiciously or otherwise, has a consequence. Nothing in the world comes free. So therefore, when we are talking about TB elimination and coinage of the term find all TB to end TB. We must choose wisely and choose wisely keeping the patient at the very center of everything. Now let's look for a moment from the patient perspective as what the patient wants. A sick person wants to be diagnosed as early as possible so that he or she can be cured with the appropriate treatment as early as possible. And it's no different for a TB patient or a prospective TB patient. Therefore, early diagnosis, correct diagnosis, and if possible, taking diagnosis to the patient bedside is definitely an appropriate choice that science today affords us. We've just come out of a pandemic and I've always argued that why should our fight against TB be any different than what we did to come out of the pandemic? And I label it as the triple T, test, trace, and treat. So my take on, rather my very simple take on TB is we must test more, both for symptomatics and asymptomatics if we are to any way come near to eliminating this dreadly historical disease. We must test more, we must test correctly, and we must test as close to the patient so that as soon as the testing is done, if the patient is found to have the bacilli, the treatment can start. And then of course the other algorithms that kind of seep in towards treatment completion, towards nutritional status of the patient, towards incentivizing patients to become regular with the treatment and nutrition and etc. So again, at the end of the day, I will say, history will remember us as people who made appropriate choices or history will remember us as folks who shied away from making appropriate choices, even when there were products of science that could have saved, that could have detected the missing millions in the case of TB. I know there are many others, the entire NTP team, 
so ably led by Dr. Pranab, Tanzir Bhai, Shaila Appa, Malia Appa, will speak their minds. But again, most of what we do, most of what we say, starts with a very simple premise that we will be remembered as folks who either contributed or did not by having made the appropriate choices towards testing, tracing and treating tuberculosis. And if we are to reach anywhere close to the TB elimination goals, we better make the appropriate choices. Thank you again. Wish the TB Dialogues the very best. Very happy to contribute anywhere, anytime, from anywhere in the globe. Thank you again, Shobha. Thank you again, Bobby, for making me part of this awesome initiatives. Thank you and have a good day.